Hey, so check out my new room from the remodel. I promise I will do a full room and house tour, but today is my birthday. And my birthday present to you is to share the story of Frida Kahlo. Her work and her story inspires me every day. If I could describe her influence on me in one sentence, it would be, be my own muse. We all have the vision to inspire ourselves and the strength to overcome anything, right? And that doesn't mean you're never going to be afraid or that bad things won't happen. It means we can overcome. And now I'm going to show you the story of Frida Kahlo. Magdalena Carmen Frida Kahlo y Calderon was born in Coyoacan, Mexico City in 1907. She was curious and strong and interested in her culture, nature, literature, and the world around her. She got polio when she was six, but she refused to feel different. Frida wanted to be a doctor when she grew up. At that time, there weren't a lot of women doctors, but Frida had a dream. She worked hard and was one of the first women admitted to the prestigious Escuela Nacional Preparatoria. But when she was 18, everything turned upside down. Frida was in a terrible accident, which broke many bones in her body, including her back, and she was bedridden for months in great pain. She had to give up her dream of being a doctor. During her recovery, she was alone for most of the day. So Frida decided to paint. She didn't let the circumstances get in her way. Her mother made an easel for her to use lying down, and she used some paint that her father had. She had them put a mirror on the ceiling so she could paint herself as a subject. She was her own muse. Of her 143 paintings, 55 are self-portraits. One of the things I love in her self-portraits are the animals. Frida loved animals. She had monkeys, dogs, birds as pets living with her. One of her favorites was her hairless dog. She later said that the accident and isolating recovery gave her the desire to begin again. She never let the disability define her. She had to wear medical corsets throughout her life after the accident. But rather than seeing these as symbols of weakness, Frida embraced them and painted them, decorated them and made them works of art and symbols of strength. She didn't stay in bed. She continued to paint and went on to become one of Mexico's most famous and love artists living a vibrant life. Her work and point of view inspired the world over. She was the first 20th century Mexican artist to have a painting bought by the Louvre in Paris. Frida embraced her reality with passion and love. She believed she was capable of anything and that gave her the power to overcome the obstacles in her way. I see this in her work. Be your own muse. You are who you are, and that is beautiful and powerful. Define the life you want to lead. Paint the world as you see it. I love Frida Kahlo. Who inspires you? Peace. Thank you so much for watching. <coughs> oh, Taffy. I want to say hi too. <laughs> hi. See you soon.